Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today's card is for the April Butterfly Challenge. I'm using the Garden and Bloom set, this one butterfly right here. I'm also using this Congratulations die cut by Simon Says Stamp and my Zig watercolor pens. I've got a variety of colors from yellow through kind of a purpley blue. Because these are watercolor pens, I'm going to be using some watercolor paper. This is Canson Mixed Media, 98 pound. It's a pretty thin paper, but I like it when I'm matting uh, layers because uh, it doesn't get too bulky. And when it is warped, it's easy to straighten out because it's so thin. So I'm going to stamp all these butterflies in random directions. This is four and a quarter by five and a half inches, this piece. And this is a Versafine Black Onyx ink. It's a pigment ink, so I'll be able to clear emboss on top of it because it stays wet for a long time. So I'll sprinkle some clear embossing powder. This is Hero Arts Ultra Fine. I need to get some more. I'm running low. Um, and then I'll heat it to set it. Now I'm ready to watercolor. Now I want to give the e an equal amount to each color. So I'm going to mark the center. And then I'll divide the right side into three parts since I have six markers and then the left side into three parts. And I'm just making a very light pencil mark so I know where to start and stop each of the colors. I'm going to start with the yellow and instead of coloring inside the butterflies, I'm going to color outside the butterflies. And I'm not being too careful as far as thickness goes. I'm just going to color around each of these butterflies to my pencil mark. Um, and I'm being careful not to color inside. So I'm just staying around the outside. Some of my lines are thick, some are thin, but I'm just being careful to just cover the area between the two pencil marks that I made. And I'm gonna work my way through all of these colors and I'll have the names in my blog post. This, they're all from the 48 count set. And now it's time to apply some water. So I have a low Cornell 7020 ultra round brush number nine and a glass of water. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here, but essentially I'm just adding water around the butterflies. So I'm just going to tap it in there. I've already dipped my brush in the water and I'm not doing very much brushing. Uh, I'm really just tapping the water in and I'm going all the way to the edge of the color, like where it hits the butterfly, but I'm not pulling it out that much. I'm really letting the water do all the work. And if you by chance make a mistake, like you could see, I just got some blue inside the butterfly. I tried to wipe it up with a tissue, but it was already dry. So this is not a big deal. You just take some plain old water on your brush, tap it on there. It'll loosen up the watercolor and then it'll come right up with a tissue. So this is really easy to fix if you make a mistake. As I'm tapping the water in, I'm being careful to leave the uh, part that was drawn in with the marker kind of alone. So I'm trying to create a little pop of each butterfly by making the area directly around it a little bit darker with the direct to paper marker. Every time I switch colors, I'm just being careful to make sure that they blend and there's not a line that you can see between the two colors. So I kind of go up and down and up and down a little bit, add a little bit of extra water to get those colors to blend. And when I got to the yellow, I was really careful about wiping the color off my brush whenever I got too much green on it because I wanted to make sure that I had a really vibrant yellow at the top. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to let it dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to work on my sentiment. I have some Stampin' Up! black cardstock and I'm going to cut this out with my big shot. I'm also using shape and tape for a small black border. Now I've cut my panel. I forgot. I don't know what happened to the camera, but the bottom piece is one and an eighth inches. The middle is one and a quarter and I'm gonna pull that out and then the top is just the rest of the card. It was four and a quarter by five and a half to start. So I'm gonna take my shape and tape, which I've cut into about an eighth of an inch, and I like to rip off the end and that really helps me get it started to get the backing off because it is a little bit difficult to get the backing off. So once I get that off, I'm just gonna take off a little bit because if you take off the whole thing, sometimes these small pieces tend to curl up and stick to, to, stick to itself. Um, so I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time. And so I'm going to outline my sentiment with some black just to make it pop a little bit. And it kind of creates a nice finished edge for my watercolor panel. So I'm gonna put this all the way to the edge and then I'm gonna cut off the ends. I'm gonna do this for my top piece and also the bottom piece, the parts that are gonna surround my sentiment. Now, once I get that all um, trimmed off, I'm gonna get my card base and I'm gonna arrange all my pieces. And I'm gonna put the bottom one on first and then I'll put the top one on. I'm just using ATG tape runner to adhere this. And because the watercolor paper is thinner, it's really straightening out as I adhere it to my card base. 
Now, the sentiment actually comes in two parts. It's just not connected. And I want them to be exactly straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arrange it first on my card base, and then I'm gonna take my masking tape. It's the tape that comes in the roll. And I'm just gonna put masking tape on top of it. And I've used this masking tape before and I had some glue on it, so that's why it's sticking a little bit more, but it should pop right up. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna stick to the sentiment and I can flip it over. I'll take my two-way glue pen and I like, this is how I usually adhere my sentiments. I just dot the two-way glue pen because you get a nice clean application and it's really precise where you put the glue. And I just dot it all along all these different letters and I go back, because it is kind of a long word, but it does stay wet for a pretty long time. But I went back and added a few dots at the front um, when I got to the end. And then all you have to do is take your masking tape and then you can um, place it right there in the center. And you can see through it because it's a black sentiment, so it's really easy to place to make sure it's right in the middle. And then rub it down and then the masking tape will come right off. And so here's my sentiment. I love this font, it's so curly and um, pretty. It's just really elegant. Anyway, so that is the card for today. I hope you enjoy this watercolor and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.